I get a little nervous about this. Like, what if it doesn't work? What is a normal blood pressure? Oh, this is terrifying. It was crazy how fast this was delivered. I ordered it on Thursday and it came by Monday. Hello, I'm Chloe and I am someone who has been on birth control for a very long time. I have been to so many doctors about it and it would be amazing if there was an easier way to get hold of it. But in general, I am so lucky I've always had doctors available to me. Not everyone is as fortunate. There are a staggering amount of women in the US who don't have easy access to birth control. What we know is that today, more than 19 and a half million women who are living at or below the poverty line don't have adequate access to birth control. They live in what we call contraceptive deserts or counties in which there's not enough access to the full range of methods. They're really making hard decisions like, do I drive to work with my transportation dollars this month or do I get my health care? To make matters worse for low-income women, Planned Parenthood recently felt they had to withdraw from Title X, which is described as the only federal grant program dedicated solely to providing individuals with comprehensive family planning and related preventative health services by the US Department of Health and Human Services. Planned Parenthood, who serves around 40% of all Title X patients felt it had to exit because of the Trump administration's implementation of what's come to be known as a gag rule, a rule prohibiting healthcare providers who receive Title X funds from referring patients to abortion providers. So recently I've been seeing more and more of these birth control delivery services popping up and if they're easy to use and affordable they could really make birth control more accessible. The general idea of these services is you sign up for them and if you're approved for a prescription they simply mail it out to you and you do not have to set foot in a doctor's office. So we're really excited about about these options because it takes away some of the barriers around time and transportation that are impacting all women and in particular low-income women. So in this video I'm going to be testing out three different delivery services from signing up all the way through to delivery to see how on earth they work. How accessible is this birth control? How affordable is it? Do these sites help you through and guide you to find out what kind of thing you need? Etc etc. <laughs> It is time to order the birth control. I am starting on a website called Bedsider because they have tons of information about like what kinds of birth control are out there and they have a whole article about which companies deliver to your door. Bedsider is the largest digital reproductive health resource in the country. It offers information about birth control, about where to get it and how to use it effectively. So I went through this website, picked out the ones that made the most sense, the ones that are available in the most places, the ones that write you new prescriptions because some of them you can only transfer prescriptions to which doesn't really make a lot of sense because part of it is like that you don't have a prescription already. So I picked out my top three. I have this one, Nurx. This one's great because it doesn't just do birth control. It does HPV screening, it does HIV prep, it does emergency contraception and STI testing. We have Project Ruby which I really like because it donates money to a good cause. Then we have the Pill Club. This one is kind of adorable because it's says you get free goodies and that is like its selling point. From what I know about these delivery services, I think you have to fill out a health assessment and then a physician will like take a look at that and decide what you need and if they're going to want to prescribe you it. Before I start ordering this birth control, I do want to just mention something I found on Bedsider. There's this page on it called BC Benefits, Birth Control Benefits. And basically, if you are low income, you might be eligible for a completely free birth control. BC Benefits provides support for low income women who are living at or below 250% of the poverty level. Very soon, BC Benefits will also offer transportation offsets. So if women are struggling to find the doctor, to get to healthcare appointments. We will support those transportation costs so that they can get the health care they need and deserve. And then on the other side of that, Power to Decide, which runs Bedsider, they have a page where you can actually give $50. Like they say here, for the cost of date night, you can give a woman a year's worth of birth control, which is pretty amazing. Let's go back to Nurx. Let's do that first. Nurx offers the patch, the pill, the shot, and the ring for birth control, which is a lot. And they also had other services too, so I was pretty impressed with the range of things they offered. Clicking on let's get started. I get a little nervous about this, like what if it doesn't work? So I'm gonna go into this pretending that I don't know anything about what birth control I need, just because I wanna see how much help they can give you and what they choose and whether all three of these sites give me the same answer or not. Because there are so many brands of pills and so many different types of birth control, I wonder if they're all gonna land on the same thing. And again, I'm gonna do this without insurance insurance because I want to see how much it would cost if you didn't have insurance because not everyone does. Okay, so the first page is help me find what's right and I think that's what I'm going to go with because 
I'm gonna act like I don't really know what I need. Okay, so I'm filling out a profile. Have you used birth control before? I mean, I don't wanna lie too much. Which birth control pills have you used before? I legitimately can't remember. I don't know about the brands, but I've used the combined and the progesterone. I can't spell that, great. Were you happy with the birth control options you used previously? Have you had your blood pressure measured in the last six months? Oh no, do I have to find out my bloody blood pressure? Oh, I don't know what it was. This is all very foreign. What is a, what is a normal blood pressure? I know I was very normal. Ideal is like 100 over 70. Sounds great, let's put that in. So the health assessment was pretty detailed, but like, I actually kind of like that because you're prescribing a human medication. So they should find out stuff about you first. It was simple and easy to use, and they suggested which birth control they thought would be right for me, which was Avian. You can't get less than a three month supply. It's also charging $12 for a medical consultation. And then three months of Avian was $45. So the total came to 57 bucks. On to number two, which is gonna be Project Ruby, which is the one that donates some money, which is nice. I guess I click buy now. Oh, okay. This is terrifying. Project Ruby wasn't as user-friendly as NERX and also only offered oral contraceptives. Okay, so there's also, I don't know, help me select. So we're gonna do that. Oh, okay, I have to register. So once I registered and got my password wrong like a million times, what requirements do you need? I finally got to a page where it actually asked me some questions, so I filled them out. All right, describe your use of taking oral contraceptive medications. I have previously used them. Once answers are submitted, they cannot be changed. Well, submit. Is, was the oral contraceptive brand any of the following? I legitimately don't know because I haven't been on it for absolutely years. I went through so many of them just saying no, 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 no. I currently have an IUD and I like do not remember any brand names at all. So I wasn't really sure what to do with that. In the end, it just suggested me using the one that it had already suggested before I even filled out the questions, which was Lutera. Oh, that's scary. They're gonna call me on the phone. I was so nervous they were gonna call me and talk to me about birth control before they would prescribe me it because I just felt like a fraud like ordering off three different sites so the next day from when i ordered them i got the call but it was so simple they just asked me if i'd been on birth control before and what kind and then they were like okay you're approved bye project ruby was 60 dollars for three months of lutera and no doctor's fees okay on to the third and final one which is the pill club the pill club offers the pill the nuva ring emergency contraceptives and female condoms how can pill club help you get your birth control. I'd like Pill Club to write me a new prescription. Yes, please. Again, it's got my height and my weight. Have I ever been on birth control before? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to let us know about your experience using birth control? Okay, so that's different again from any other one. So any negative side effects? Like, oh, look, this one is more helpful. It is telling me which one is normal rather than me having to research it. Which birth control would you like? Pill Club's most popular slash affordable birth control pill. I expect most people would do that, but you can also click a brand preference. Okay, so there is a guide, which is good. This doesn't tell me about the different brands. It just tells me the difference between a pill and a ring. I was hoping they were gonna give me a breakdown of what the different brands did, which I feel like none of them have done. I suppose you have to do your own research on that, which I'm sure you can do. All right, I'm just gonna say most affordable. Any of the following apply to you. Oh, this is easier. The other one is like question one, two, three, four. This one's just like check, 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 check. <laughs> Oh, you can have an add-on if you'd like to add on emergency contraceptive for $15. That's nice and cheap. All right, so it is recommending Isabloom, Icy Bloom, Isy Bloom, Isy Bloom. So that's again different from the other two. So this is interesting. I can either buy it every single month for $15 or I can get it every three months for only $5.30 a pack. I think the other two were both three months. So I'm gonna say every three months and I'm gonna see how expensive that's gonna be. Okay, so this one's really cheap. This one is $30.90. The Pill Club was $15 for the medical consultation and then $15.90 for three months of is a bloom? 
So the ordering was done and I could not believe how easy and simple it was. I got text updates from all three companies about the status of my order and I way prefer that to having to check my emails. Nurx actually texted me to let me know they're gonna send me Lutera instead of Avian because that is the generic version of Avian. So it was good to have that update rather than just be sent it. And the other two companies approved me I think either the same day or the next day. It was all so simple and what I would call affordable and if you have insurance it's probably actually free apart from from the medical consultation fees, which obviously you only have to pay once. all three packets so quickly. For Project Ruby and for Nux, I ordered them on a Thursday and got them on the Monday. And then for the Pill Club, ordered it on a Thursday and got it the next Thursday, which I still think is really, really quick. So the packaging was all pretty plain. It didn't have like the Pill Club written on it or anything. So it was nice and discreet for women who want that. All the pills are in. I have them all here. So uh, let's open them together. First off, we have Nux, which came in this packet. Yeah, there's no like, cutesy packaging or anything. <laughs> Literally just the pills. And oh, a business card. This does auto renew. I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna get charged like every three months or whatever. I had to message them to get them to stop. But it was super easy. You can just literally text them or go through their website. So next up we have Project Ruby. That came the same day as Nurx. This came in a little package like this. And we have a receipt. Same thing, just three packets of the same stuff. So this company doesn't auto refill unless you ask it to. This was like a one-off of three months, which I actually preferred because then you don't get into that like accidental paying for stuff that you don't need. Or if you don't like it, you don't have to do anything, it's just done. But there is the option to refill if you want to. So last but not least is the Pill Club. This took a week to get to me from Thursday to Thursday, but I still think that is pretty quick. This is actually the cheapest service. It only came to $30.90. So this one is pink. <laughs> So this one is pink, which obviously is amazing. And also this is the one that sends you goodies for free. So never say no to that. I'm going to say this wrong like I have the whole time. Issa Bloom, Issa Bloom, Issa Bloom. So you get three of these. I'm not sure why they prescribed me these over Lutera since the other two gave me Lutera, but you know what? You gotta trust the doctors. And then the goodies. Actually, there's a lot of stuff in here. An ad for some period box. This is cute. This is a little guide to pharmacy essentials. That's helpful if you don't wanna have to go on line and search for this stuff. It's just right here. Oh, more information about side effects and stuff. I mean, surely that's in the pill information, like in the packets, but I mean, I guess it's probably easier to read like this. A tampon. Is it a tampon? Yes, it's a tampon. Chewy fruities, organic candy chews. It's so cute. And then, oh, that's it. that was everything. I had gone through the whole process, apart from taking the pills, but that would be weird. I do have a favorite, but they were all great and I recommend all three of them. Honestly, I think the Pill Club was the best. The Pill Club had everything that the others did, plus it was more affordable and they have treats. This was honestly almost half the price of others, so very good. If you are curious about trying out any of these services or any of the ones that I didn't try, or for more information, go to bedsider.org because they have a plethora of things to show you and they are very, very helpful. What do you think about these services? Have you tried them? Would you wanna try them? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for joining me on this journey.